What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I am your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness across all social media platforms. This is your first time seeing my face or hearing my voice. I'm a diagnosed narcissist, and it's my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, like myself, five years strong, and to also validate the victims, survivors, and the thrivers of said disorder. Today's episode is going to be answering the question, why does a narcissist or toxic person ignore you? Mm. Why do they ignore you? Why, 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 why? I know a lot of people get that, they, you know, the, the silent treatment, you know, oh, st- the silent treatment, stonewalling, whatever. So here's a few of the reasons why a narcissistic person will ignore you. Number one, you disrespected them. Of course, it's, it's the simplest way. The simplest way to get a narcissistic person to annoy you is to disrespect them. But here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. I know, I know what y'all going to say, but Lee, everybody will ignore you when they get dis- disrespected. But here's the kicker about narcissists and toxic people is they first of all they typically won't even tell you well well not typically sometimes they won't even tell you why why they feel disrespected and secondly they like you won't even like they won't even tell you and it could be the most minor thing disrespect by from a a narcissistic person typically perceives any type of small criticism any type of disagreement any type of thing like that as uh as this as disrespect So disrespect will get you ignored. Disrespect will get you ignored by the narcissistic person. It just will. You know what I mean? It just will. Another reason a narcissistic person will ignore you is they're they're just done with you. They're tired of you. They're over you. You know what I mean? They have emotionally discarded you. And this typically is is in an intimate relationship, but it could be a friendship. It could be, uh, you know, a work relationship and things like that. It doesn't have to be. An intimate relationship but typically it is you know what I mean so with it being an intimate relationship they're when they emotionally discard you you know some of them will not physically discard you but they, they'll emotionally get rid of you you know what I mean they'll emotionally discard you get rid of you and things like that so like but they'll keep you there just because they physically emotionally discard you doesn't mean that they will physically get rid of you they'll just ignore you lack of a like when they start ignoring you after doing the emotional discard stage lack of affection Lack of attention, lack of look, lack of lack, <laughs> lack of the bare minimum. They'll start to get, they'll start giving you less than the bare minimum uh, treatment and behaviors and things like that. They'll start treating you like you're less than, which is typically how it goes when you deal with narcissists and toxic people. You mean so? Once they are done with you, they are like I said, tired of you, over you. Here comes the ignoring. Like if you have kids with them, it can get worse because they'll ignore the kids too. It's not just you that gets the ignoring; it's the you know the kids and things like that too. And they can you know add in the disrespect from the kids or whatever too. Go back to step one <laughs> and add in. It, it can apply to children as well because they feel like their kids disrespect them in any way. They'll ignore their kids and things like that as well. Another reason why a narcissist or a toxic person will ignore you is to regain control. They feel like they've lost control over the situation. They've lost control over the relationship dynamic, whatever the, whatever the relationship is. Again, it doesn't have to be an intimate relationship. It could be work related. It could be school related. It could be parenting related, child related, whatever. But they feel like they've lost um, control over the situation and things like that. So here they come ignoring you because ignoring you typically when they ignore you they're trying to get you to notice them when they ignore you they're trying to regain control and make you want them so if you are here getting ignored that means you want me so if you want me that means you go about getting it getting that want and that need met in that need met in a different way so a narcissistic person will just ignore you act like you don't exist like you're pretty much a ghost to them they, they'll walk over you you'll be in the same house they won't speak to you they won't acknowledge your existence or anything like that so that's part of it as well. They ignore you to regain control and things like that. Whatever, whatever, whatever the loss of control is, you could you could catch them cheating. You could catch them lying to you. You can catch them in any type of situation like that where they feel like control is lost. So in order to regain control, they'll they'll ignore you. They'll make you want them, which leads into the next next reason a narcissistic person will ignore you is to make you want them more. And typically, yeah, typically this happens in intimate relationship with narcissistic people they'll go you know to make you want me to make you want to communicate with me i'll just shut my mouth now you want to communicate with me because typically you as a non-narcissistic person communicate you thrive on communication communication is the foundation is one of the main foundations of a healthy you know 
of a good relationship with a narcissist, with anybody, not with, not with just the narcissist. Communication is the, the bedrock of most healthy relationships. So if I'm not communicating with you, you are pining to communicate with me. You are pining to communicate with me. So, you know, to make you want me more, to make sure that you want me, to make sure I'm in control of this relationship, go back to the last step. I ignore you to make you want me more. And I know people are going to ask, like, well, Lee, is that, that sounds like it's pre-planned. Like, it sounds like it's pre-planned. So is it pre, it's pre-planned on a subconscious level. I don't think I'm just sitting here writing it down like I'm going to ignore my wife to make her want me. Subconsciously, that's what I'm doing, though. You know, I'm just like, I just have a very, very good way of, of articulating my thoughts and putting them on the video, which is, you know, why I'm good at what I do right now. You know what I mean? So in this dynamic and whatnot. So that's what I do. You know, I, I can articulate my thoughts. You know, another reason why a narcissistic person will ignore you is to, you know, just to make you feel bad about yourself, to, de to take away your power, to make to devalue you, to make you feel like you're not worth my words. You're not worth my attention. You're not worth anything from me. You're not deserving of me at all. So that happens quite a bit in these to in these types of relationships. Well, they will do this. Like I said, it's just not it's just not intimate relationships. It could be the kids. It could be um, the, your coworkers. It could be your friends. Whatever it makes it, it makes you feel like you're less than. Like you're not worth my time. You're not worth my effort. You're not worth my energy. You're not worth my attention or anything like that. You're not worth my attention span. So that is possible as well, y'all. They could be ignoring you because of like, just to make you feel bad about yourself, just to take away your strength. Again, go back to it, control. They want to regain control. They want to punish you for whatever they did. And like I said, this punishment phase can also kind of dig into, um, you know, it can also dig into you, you trying to hold them accountable. So you, if you're trying to hold me accountable, I need to devalue you. I need to punish you and things like that. You know, so it devalues you in a way like, like it doesn't you don't even have to be holding this person accountable you could be at a um you could be at um like you could be graduating you could be celebrating something you could be celebrating something you could be happy go lucky you could be you know graduate from college you can be getting a promotion from work you could be getting your dream job you can be excelling at whatever you're doing and a narcissistic person will ignore your celebration will, will ignore your success and your progress to devalue you and to kind of pull you down to their level to for lack of a better word to bring you down a notch you mean to make sure you know again back to the control you know what i mean back to the control they do it like i said there's a few different reasons why they do that and things like that so they do it you know uh, they just do it to get back control another reason <laughs> sorry y'all people keep blowing my phone up another reason why they do this like they start ignoring you is because they want to discard you go back to the beginning when i said they were over and done with you they want to they want to discard you but they want you to be the one that do it like they're either cheating on you, they're like, they're already, they've already found new supply and they're ready to move on, but they don't have the strength or the courage to tell you that they're ready to move on. So they per perform what, I, what is called the reverse discard, where they treat you so badly, they treat you so badly, they make you be the one who discards them. Like you get, you get tired of, you get tired of the behaviors, you get tired of the treatment. So you, in essence, discard them because you get, you're tired of getting less than the bare minimum. So they ignore you until you do that. And when you break up with them, guess what? Now they talk. Now they're, they're chatty as hell. Now they move on to somebody else, and they and you give them the excuse to move on to somebody else because you broke up with them. Hey, what did you expect me to do? I'm mean, gonna I mean, wait around all day and all night for that person to change their mind on me? No, I'm not gonna do that. They left me, so now I have a reason to move on. Thanks. They'll ignore you. I'm just telling y'all, ignoring is a tool of a, it's a tool of a narcissist or a toxic person. And yet, not yet, yes, y'all, not all narcissistic people are the same. We understand that dynamic. You know what I mean? We understand that dynamic as well. So not all narcissistic people understand. Um, I mean, not, uh, not yeah. But in conclusion, y'all, being ignored typically is not on you. Typically, is is coming is coming from the inner workings of the narcissistic person's mind. Like my mind is going a thousand miles a minute, and I'm just so my insecurities take over, my flaws take over, and I project them onto you. And I ignore you sometimes out of frustration with myself, sometimes out of anger with you. Like I said, sometimes out of embarrassment and sometimes out of shame. I'm ignoring you because I'm ashamed of something I've done. That narcissistic person is ignoring you because they are ashamed of something that they may have done in their own life at their in their own and on their own time or whatever. You know what I mean? So that narcissistic person is ashamed of themselves. So they take it out on you. 
Like I said, it's not on you. I know a lot of people internalize what, you know, they internalize the external expressions of the, of the narcissistic person. You start to blame yourself. You're like, oh, this is my fault. This has something to do with me. You know, and that typically the narcissistic person wants you to think that. They want you to take blame for what they're doing. Because if you take blame for what I'm doing to you, then I can, I, they can always get away with doing stuff to you. You see what I'm saying? If you're taking blame for the stuff that I do to you, then I can always do stuff to you and get away with it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And y'all, I know y'all see my, my setting right now uh, in my backyard. No, I'm not living in my backyard. I'm not living in that swing set right there. I'm not living in that swing set. Because <laughs> I filmed yesterday in my car. People thought I was living in my car. So I was just like, I am not living in that swing set. Somebody's like, you're lying, Lee. That makes me, that makes me think you're living in your car. <laughs> okay. I am definitely not living in that, that child's swing set. <laughs> But anyways, y'all, hope you had a hope happy Thanksgiving, y'all. We're planning our next meetup. If y'all made it this far in the video, put some su suggestions for our next meet and greet meetup or whatever, workshop or whatnot. We're coming soon to a city near you. Anyways, like and subscribe for more. If you listen to this on the podcast, um, hit that five stars on Apple Music for me. I truly appreciate every single one of y'all because without y'all, I definitely would not be here. Stay empowered. Like and subscribe for more. As always, mental illness is out. Peace.